Buenos dias, o buenas tardes, o buenas noches. How are you? My name is Greg Anderson, and this is the Good Timekeeping Show with Greg Anderson. And as you saw just there and heard, I was speaking Spanish for just a moment. Yes, sometimes I do speak Spanish, although not as well or as fluently as I used to back um, <laughs> a long time ago. I just don't have the opportunity to use my Spanish as much as I'd like to. But, uh, see, I took Spanish in junior high, high school, and then in the 1980s, I was a missionary in Bolivia, in South America, for a couple of years. So, uh, at that time, I was quite fluent and, and quite proficient in Spanish, but most of the stuff I talked about every day had to do with religion. So, uh, my vocabulary and my fluency about other things maybe has never been quite as good as it was when I was talking about religion every day. So, um, when it came time to start talking about clocks and watches, and solar panels, and batteries, and the stuff I usually talk about here on YouTube, uh, I have to kind of stop and think very carefully about that so that I can, you know, I can speak about those things. Again, there's a vocabulary that you're not using. It's topics that you don't normally talk about in another language. You, you, you might have to make an extra effort. And so I did, made a video a few years ago where I did the entire thing speaking Spanish. And that was fun, and a lot of people reacted well to that. And some people said, hey, you need to do more of that. And I thought, yeah, I do need to do more of that. But again, it, it's a lot of extra effort and, and time, and so it, it became kind of difficult to follow through very often on, you know, making more Spanish language content for my channel. But something just happened just a few weeks ago. And this is, uh, well, first up, I want to make it clear that when I make this content for YouTube, I don't use artificial intelligence or AI. I just don't. I have no need for that. If I'm going to talk about a watch, it's most often a watch that I have, and I'll just show it to you. Um, you know, so I don't. What would I need AI to do with the kinds of videos I make? I, no need for it, so it doesn't happen. However, YouTube has its own AI, and they've started offering that on my videos on this channel. Not not every channel has this, and I. I don't know. Not, not all of my videos have this, but the videos that I have uploaded to YouTube since the beginning of December, which was only a few weeks ago, December 2024, those videos starting December 2024 now include uh, an AI generated additional language soundtrack. In fact, there are five additional languages in addition to the original English that I'm recording. So let me, let me just show you how that works. So Okay, here's what it would normally be, a normal introduction to one of my recent videos. Okay, this is, okay. Hi again, everybody. My name is Greg Anderson, and this is the Good Timekeeping Show with Greg Anderson. And today I want to... Now I can go in and click on the gear icon for settings, and I can choose a different soundtrack. And it could be in French. Bonjour à tous. Je m'appelle Greg Anderson, et c'est l'émission Good Timekeeping avec Greg Anderson. Or it could be in Italian. Ciao di nuovo a tutti. Mi chiamo Greg Anderson, e questo è il buon programma di cronometraggio con Greg Anderson. E oggi voglio parlare di alcuni orologi che penso siano in un certo senso i miei orologi di base di base che penso... Another option available is German. Hallo nochmal zusammen. Mein Name ist Greg Anderson und das hier ist die Good Timekeeping Show mit Greg Anderson. Also available in Portuguese. I'm a little bit familiar with Portuguese. This sounds pretty good to me. Olá a todos novamente. Meu nome é Greg Anderson e este é o programa Good Timekeeping com Greg Anderson. And then also available in Spanish. And so I'm more familiar with Spanish. And uh, the surprising thing about this, I might have expected that the, the sound of this artificial voice would sound very artificial. But I think it sounds like a real person. Hola de nuevo a todos. Me llamo Greg Anderson y este es el programa Good Time Keeping con Greg Anderson. And the other thing is, I thought if this is automatically hearing my voice and translating that into Spanish and then speaking that, um, that sounds pretty good too. The translation, the word, the vocabulary, the, the, just the delivery really sounds pretty good, pretty natural to me, and I'm impressed by this. Si no los tienes, quieres empezar algo. Estas son mis recomendaciones de relojes. So again, if you want to look at any of my recent videos, and if you are inclined to listen in another language, um, this is a very easy thing to do. Just a, a couple clicks and, and there you go. Now, I, if, if any of you are more familiar with uh, French, Italian, German, and Portuguese, I'd like you to take a listen and see if you agree with me uh, that these translations sound mostly natural and the, the words, the vocabulary, it all sounds pretty good. 
let me know if they're getting it wrong in some way. Uh, again, I've, I've listened to some of my stuff in, with, with their Spanish translation, and I think it sounds fine. I'll give it my, uh, you know, <laughs> my, my current stamp of approval, unless I start listening and go, no, no, that's not right. But so far, I think it's great. So a great service. And so what I'm hoping is that uh, those of you who maybe prefer to listen in another language besides English, and it's one of these other uh, five languages, go ahead and tell your friends. It would be a shame if we thought, well, nobody in uh, Latin America or Spain should, uh, should get much out of my videos. No, the, the exact opposite. I hope they get more out of my videos than they have been. In fact, this has gotten me to thinking. Since the videos I'm uploading are now being translated into these other languages, but the videos that I posted prior to December of 2024 are not being automatically translated, what would you think if I re-released some of my older videos? And I have some analytics from YouTube telling me what are some of my most popular videos that I've made over the, you know, I can kind of specify a time period and say, well, your most popular videos that got the most views in the year 2024 are this, or in the last 28 days was this, or, or, or over the entire lifetime of my YouTube channel, these are the videos that got the most attention. So I'm, I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll start with some of those more popular videos and re-release them. I'll change them up a little bit. And I'll go in and maybe refine a few things, edit things out, or, or maybe put a new introduction to explain why I'm doing this. But I think it might be useful to kind of expand the, the, the world of, uh, of the good timekeeping show <laughs> into areas of the world where maybe it hasn't got as much attention before. And I think that the information I've released in the past is still pretty good. And so wouldn't it be great if more people in different parts of the world could benefit from that? That's what I'm hoping. So uh, watch for that. Uh, and again, if you have any suggestions of what you think I should repost so that it would be available with these automatic language translations, let me know. I can work on that too. So there you go. Play around with it. See what you think. And uh, I'll be posting more of those old videos. But of course, I'll also be posting new videos and new content, completely new stuff that will then also be automatically translated. Anyway, that's the news for now. And uh, again, I will say... There will always be another new episode of The Good Timekeeping Show.